Hello and welcome to Delphi's how-to video series. I'm Clay Pennington, Senior Product Specialist here at Delphi Product and Service Solutions. This video has great tips on how to identify a flex fuel vehicle so you can be sure to identify the correct replacement fuel pump. Flex fuel vehicles can run on either gasoline or alcohol-based fuels like E85. The challenging part is, is even the same year, make, and model vehicle can use this different fuel and engine management systems. So let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about why E85 vehicles require specific parts designed just for them and why you can't use E85 in any vehicle that isn't designed to run an E85. E85, as you might have guessed, it is 85% ethyl alcohol and 15% gasoline added in to make ethanol. So compared to gasoline, E85 is a higher oxygen content, more electrical conductivity, and absorbs more moisture, which makes it highly corrosive. So if your vehicle isn't designed to run on E85, don't put it in the tank. E85 also yields less energy. So a flex fuel vehicle must have the right software to adjust the air-fuel ratio to generate the necessary power. One of the easiest ways to identify if a vehicle's flex fuel is look at the gas cap. It should be yellow with fuel types that can be used and labeled on it. Inside the fuel door we labeled with types of fuel can be used. You can look for badging on the body to indicate flex fuel vehicles, or you can look at the eighth character of the VIN. By using service information, you can identify if it's a flex fuel vehicle application. It's important to make sure you only use E85 and E85 application. In a conventional system, it can cause a lot of problems. High alcohol content will cause steel lines to corrode. That's why in a flex fuel application, the lines are usually lined with nylon. Conventional rubber connecting hoses and O-rings tend to dry out when exposed to E85, and that can lead to fuel leaks. Metals in a pump can corrode, causing poor pump performance, and conventional pumps last about 9,000 hours, but put one in a flex fuel application, and it may only last for 500. E85 will also deteriorate a conventional float sensor and float, causing it to malfunction. To make the right repair, you have to properly identify a flex fuel vehicle and use the correct parts made for them. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other Delphi how-to series videos that can help save you time in your shop every day.